What's up guys, today I'm going to be talking about why Damian Lillard's time to win a championship has passed him by. So it's come out recently that Damian Lillard wants a trade out of Portland and many people are speculating where is Damian Lillard going to go and what teams will he end up on. However, I have been thinking of what are teams going to give up for somebody like Damian and Lillard? Certain teams like the Miami Heat or the Philadelphia 76ers have been top contenders in getting Damian Lillard this offseason. However, I don't see what these teams would give up. If you were to go to the Miami Heat, they would have to give up somebody like Bam Adebayo or Tyler Harrow and some picks. But Bam Adebayo is a big, big, big contributor to their offense and defense in Miami and it was a real key part in helping them in the Nuggets series and different series in the playoffs even though he did have some bad games throughout he's still helpful now Tyler Harrow even though he didn't play that much it's possible he could be traded as well but I feel like he has more to contribute to the Miami Heat now if you were to go to the if Damian Lillard were to go to the Philadelphia 76ers the Philadelphia 76ers would have to give up somebody like Tobias Harris maybe and some picks or they would have to give up somebody like James Harden for some or some picks. But I don't see James Harden even going to somewhere like Portland because he's already stated that he wants to go to the Clippers to play with Westbrook, Kawhi, and Paul George. So I don't see that happening, him going to the 76ers. And I don't know what type of trade package that those teams would be interested in and any trade package the Trailblazers would be interested in. Because if they were to get somebody like Tobias Harris, they're already filled up in the wing position with Jeremy Grant. I mean, I don't see Tobias Harris even being traded to Portland because they already have somebody like Jeremy Grant on the team. And I don't see them getting another guard because they already have Scoot Henderson and Shaden Sharp at the one and two. So who, what what teams are, what are, who's gonna give away their talent for Damian Lillard for a championship? It's hard to, it's hard to know. It's really hard to know. And then the next point I want to go to is that teams are just too good. I mean, if we look at who's going to win the 2023-2024 NBA championship, we have the Nuggets, we have the Celtics, we have the Bucks, we have the Suns. Those teams are objectively better than Miami Heat and the Philadelphia 76ers. Objectively better. They have players stacked to the top and bottom. The Suns have increased their depth to, uh, like, they have increased their depth. They are, in my opinion, one of my favorites to win a championship next season. Denver, unstoppable team. Like, you saw how they did every team in the playoffs. They have Jokic. They have defense. They have they have everything. They have the one of the most efficient offenses in the league, one of the best defenses in the league. Nobody can really stop the Denver Nuggets. Then if we look at the Celtics, the Celtics are the Celtics, of course. You know, they, they did kind of get destroyed well they almost came back but that team is just really good and i can see them possibly going to the championship next season as well so teams if if damian Lillard was hypothetically traded from the portland trailblazers to a different team like the the miami heat or the 76ers who are front runners for damian lillard i don't even think he would win a championship over there either i don't think it would work out i know it's the harsh reality but it is what it is and now Damian Lillard is 33 years old. He's going to start regressing in a few years and the time to win a championship is dwindling away. I want to see him win a championship, but do I see him winning a championship? No, I don't. I feel like he is in the same boat as James Harden. Both are great NBA players. Both have had amazing primes. Both have great performances, but right now it just doesn't seem that they're going to win something. And you know, no matter how many teams they can go to, no matter how many super teams they can form, I just don't see it happening. And it's it's a sad reality, in my opinion, that um, it's a sad reality. It's a really sad reality to think about is that these guys will not be winning championships. I mean, I could be wrong. You know, come back to this video at the end of the NBA season after the NBA finals with Damian Lillard holding the finals MVP trophy. Um, and come back to this video and say, haha, you were wrong, you were wrong. And I'll take that. I'll take that to I'll take that to the chest. But I just feel like Damian Lillard's best chance to win a ring was five years ago when he was really in his prime and he was really giving everybody a run for their money. Like the shot over Paul George, that shot was the year he had to win a championship because at that time i think the golden state warriors were going through internal problems but they just couldn't get the job done and i'm not saying it's all damian lillard's fault 
all I'm saying is is that the Trailblazers have were not able to build a team around somebody like Damian Lillard and it showed I mean I feel sorry for Dame but I mean the amount of times he, we go over this through the offseason every single year for the past like five six years already where's Damian Lillard gonna go Damian Lillard seems unhappy in Portland I to be honest I'm getting tired of hearing that same story over and over going you know, over again during the offseason and I just want to see him get moved somewhere I mean even if it's not for a championship, even if it doesn't result in a championship, I do want to see him somewhere fresh where it seems like he can contend. Because the past few years, we've been like, oh yeah, he's not winning this year. The team's not ready. You know, his supporting cast is gone and you don't have CJ McCollum no more. You know, he doesn't have his second wing, second right hand man or whatever. So yeah, tell me in the comments if you think Dame, Dame, Dame Dollar is going to get back into the championship aspirations. And if he does, what team do you think he's going to go to? The Miami Heat, 76ers, or, or the Brooklyn Nets? You know, we're kind of a dark horse in this. You know what I'm saying? Um, but again, uh, again, uh, I want you guys to go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy, Dime Man. With that being said, God bless. Peace out. 100. Ha ha. Yes, sir.